Hi, my name's Cassius Rayner and I'm a filmmaker and iPhone cinematographer. So in today's video, I'm going to explore my sturdy old iPhone 8 Plus. Yes, even against all of the latest mobile phones that are now on the market, I wanted to go back and explore what this phone can do with Filmic Pro. We can look at the pros and cons, and so I did a series of test shots to check out under different conditions what this phone can still do. So let's dive straight in. So just like I've done recently with the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and that's shooting uh, in the studio under a couple of low lights. And I thought, well, let's try that with the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's really see what it can do. And I have to say, it's been at least maybe a year and a half, possibly two years since I've actually used the phone. So it was great for me to re-explore this phone um, and see what it could do under those conditions. Now, there were some pros and cons to it. So what I'm gonna do is show you the video first of all, and then I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about uh, what went wrong, what was okay, and how to work out those issues with it. So overall, of course, I was really pleased with the results um, of shooting that video clip using the iPhone 8 Plus and a couple of lights, a red light and an LED video light. Yeah, there were some hiccups in post-production in the grading um, because, of course, the raw footage did have a lot of noise in it. Now, I had to use my experience to know and understand that the amount of light I was placing on the actress's face was going to be sufficient and enough for me to work with. And that it wasn't really a problem to have all the noise or the extent of the noise in the shadow and the dark areas. Um, that I wasn't too worried about. I knew that I could maybe crush the blacks, bring the shadows down, just to reduce that noise issue. The key for me was the detail in the face and the actual light source. That's what I wanted. And so overall, I was really pleased with that. I mean, obviously from here, you can see a clip with the, uh, with the raw footage from the iPhone 8 Plus in log capture to then obviously the final piece with the grade on top of it using the D-Log V2. And hopefully, um, you as the viewer will say, yeah, okay, that's not bad. That's pretty reasonable, you know, considering the age of the phone, that's pretty good. And it is, and it's great. And so for me, it is all about the phone that you have available and how you can use it. So let's crack on with the next video clip. So I thought, well, okay, let's go outside, let's shoot something out in daylight and let's see what it can do there. Obviously, I still would highlight that it's very important to use an ND filter, whatever model phone that you have, um, or however old it might be, it doesn't matter. Use an ND filter. This will really always give you the best quality possible when you're using that in combination with Filmic Pro at the 148 shutter speed, which I always highlight, and keeping your ISO as low as possible. Think of it like a gain uh, it's a gain control. The more you up it, the more noise you're going to get in your image. The, the lower you keep that number, the less noise you're going to be tackling and dealing with in post-production. So let's check the video. I want to see my son. I'm not talking about what the courts decided. I just want to see my son. It's his birthday. 
One hour. Okay. I'll be there. I will be there. So let alone that it's an iPhone 8 Plus that I was shooting on location with, location filming, particularly in the drama world, um, in film, is, is always uh, stressful. Uh, and it is because there are so many things that you have to think about. Not just visuals, but of course sound as well, and how you're going to get the best sound when you're on location. And of course that's a whole other world with mobile phones about audio, um, and that is hopefully something I will be tackling in a future episode of this series uh, looking at audio. But the reason I chose this location is because of the archways and what I wanted was to actually film shadows but as well as having bright daylight at the same time. I felt that was a really good challenge for the phone to work out what it could cope with, how much contrast could be kept in the shot and of course I had to use an ND filter. So filming through the, ar the railway archway into into actual daylight you know from a camera operating perspective that gives you different complications to work with what area you're going to expose for what are the most important details in the shot um, what kind of ND filters are you going to use so of course I had to use uh, an ND I used an ND32 for that specific shot but overall it did really well in coping with the exposure in the low light of the tunnel because we didn't add anything. There was no lighting or reflectors being used in that. And then I have to say on top of that, when I was doing the close up shots of the actor, uh, again, we didn't use a reflector or a light. We were just using the natural daylight that was coming through the archway. Um, I was really pleased with the quality and the sharpness of the image when I was filming her dialogue pieces. So overall, you know, I was really pleased with it. And yet again, at the end of the day, it's just about working with what mobile you have. I'm coming. So filming that specific video clip uh, that you just seen, extreme weather all at once. We had rain, we had fog coming across, we had rays of sunshine coming through, absolute nightmare. Um, and that was a real challenge on the iPhone 8 Plus and there was some noise and grain actually in the footage um, but I actually overall really liked that and I felt that actually added to the style of the piece and the mood that I was trying to create in that clip so sometimes you know by accident maybe you know things can actually work to your advantage um, instead of looking at it as being a negative and saying oh it's too noisy it's, it's just not good enough you know sometimes those things can actually work in your favor so that about wraps it up for this video. I hope that you found the elements of it of, in, of interest. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed making the video and I really was happy with the results I was able to get using the iPhone 8 Plus. Again, as I've said before, it's all about you and the skill that you put into it, not necessarily the tool itself. So it's about getting out there and just doing it. Now do check out Filmic Pro if you haven't done so so far. You can check them out on Google Play or the App Store. Really worth a look at, I promise you. Okay, thanks again for watching the video. Really appreciate it. And uh, well, I look forward to the next episode getting out there and I hope that you like it too. Thanks so much for watching.